Oh, you're looking at the future right here. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best, just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair can do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. Corey, how do you think the champ looks heading into this match? She looks like the champ we've become accustomed to seeing, Cole, which clearly spells bad news for her opposition. I know the title's not on the line, guys, but I don't think she can afford to give anything less than 100% here tonight. I don't think we'll see that from her here tonight, Cole. Title match or not, once the bell rings, she's nothing but business. And if you ask me, the champ had better bring her A game tonight, regardless of whether the title's on the line or not. Don't you worry, Cole. I don't think she has anything other than an A game. If she does, I haven't seen it, that's for sure. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. Wow, these superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. You know what I like about her? She's approaching this match the same as she would if the title was on the line. Thunderous slam. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Down with a power bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, by now, I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strong-ist, the fast-ist, the smart-tist, and the bad-ist around. Oof! And the slam! Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. 
But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the est of NXT. Oh, what a backbreaker. Man, just ugly impact. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. Ladies and gentlemen, by now I'm sure you've heard Bianca Belair describe herself as the EST of NXT. Corey, what exactly does that mean? I'll break it down for you, Michael Cole. It simply means that Bianca Belair is the strong-ist, the fast-ist, the smart-ist, and the bad-ist around. What a stomp! Good grief! Harsh impact. Oh, nasty impact. Corey, thank you for breaking down exactly what it means when Bianca Belair says she is the ist of NXT. But don't you think Bianca has a bit of an overinflated ego for somebody relatively new to the scene? Absolutely not, Saxton. Just ask top NXT stars like Candice LeRae or Lacey Evans if it was Belair's ego that beat them. Those were cases of Belair proving she truly is the est of NXT. Inverted DDT! What a stomp! Good grief! Big time impact from way up high. Nailed it! Boom! Oh, what a chop block! You gotta believe this one's over! the tag. There may be no prevent. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. Leg drop. And Ricky Steamboat too quick that time. Absolutely sudden. What a boot. Shoulder tackle. Oh, nasty impact. Boom. Whoa, Arya Davari dodged that one. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, oh, oh perfect form. In comes Scott Hall. Thunderous slam. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat feeling the heat now. Her and her partner aren't going to let oh. this derail them, though. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but this is oh, so man. much damage inflicted. She's certainly looking good now, Cole. The mood has definitely changed inside this arena. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Beautiful drop kick. Matt slam. With some attitude. Nailed it. Incredible. This is exactly what Scott Hall was waiting for. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh. There it is. That's it. Hall just ended this. Count him. She fights out. But that doesn't mean the damage wasn't already done, Michael. Ooh, what impact. Oh, what a splash. Oh, what impact. Oh, you got to believe this one's over. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Scott Hall looking a little drained in there. You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She really needs to make a tag here, guys. There's no way she can continue like this and expect to win the match. There's just no way. Beautiful technique. Look at Ricky the Dragon Steamboat making his moves. And it's Hall showing some agility. The big man's quick. This might be it. Oh, my. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. Boom. 
Tagged in. And Ricky Steamboat too quick that time. Absolutely sudden. Tagged in. Harsh impact. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match. And she shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She is on fire. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, Harry Navari looks to finish this. Oh, what agility. The arm bar is locked in. That has got to be it. Arya Navari has to take advantage right now. Oh, they did it. Vicious attack. Oh, man, what a leg drop. You got to believe this one's over. Oh, man, oh, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. This was another great moment. I remember this part very well. Every single minute of this one was memorable. What a great match and a huge victory to boot. These women make an almost unstoppable pairing, Michael. I'd be curious to see how this win impacts the rest of the tag team division.